Hey, thanks so much for finding the video. Do us a favor. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment. We love to interact. Enjoy the video. If you would, walk us through as we start here any potential contingencies that you know of for the Saints as uh, Hurricane Delta approaches? Look, I do know the Saints are monitoring the situation, which they've had to do several times this offseason, whether it's through training camp or, or leading up to the season. And uh, typically what they would do if they were going to practice and have to go somewhere else, uh, their contingency plan would typically be Indianapolis, Lucas Oil Stadium. And they've done this before when storms have come where they've had to go up there and practice for an extended period. Uh, but look, I think as the storm maybe slows down, I don't know if the practice sessions might be in danger more than maybe a possible game, which then we're talking a whole other can of worms. Uh, where else would you play it? especially in this uh, COVID-19 environment. So if they had to move practice, though, uh, the plan, in, from what I understand it, would likely be Lucas Oil Stadium up in Indianapolis again. So uh, you know, we're kind of keeping an eye on what may happen. It looks like Saturday, you know, early morning Saturday, is when the storm is expected to, to make, or your know, late Friday night, early Saturday morning, is when the storm could make landfall. I'm not trying to turn you into meteorologist. I don't want you to make any projections on that, but work through the 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 contingencies that that could be there. I mean, practice would be Lucas Oil, but w what else are are possibilities that the Saints could or are working through right now? Well, like I said, it might be more about the game. The game. That's, that's, I'm sorry. That's what I'm talking yeah. about for, for for Monday night. Look, I, I think if the storm goes through and there's not a lot of damage, I think they would probably play it as normal. And you know, I'm wondering, though, if it doesn't, where do they go? And I don't think they exactly know what that is yet. Like as just like LSU, they're not sure if they're even going to play Saturday. You know, Monday would be two days as it's forecasted to be past New Orleans. If it's been one of these storms that we've seen over the last few months where they've come and gone and nothing's really happened, then they play Monday night and kind of move on with their life. But I think if there is a delay, I think there's certainly uh, some things where I, there, I don't have the answers yet. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, because you can't just turn around and say, Oh, Hey, we're going to go play this in Los Angeles. Like that is just, I, I feel like that's out of the question. And I'm not sure if cities are comfortable hosting a random NFL game uh, given uh, the way uh, some of these cities view the pandemic, why why couldn't you find another venue to play the game? I don't. I'm not saying you can't. I just think it would be more difficult than normal. Uh, I don't know who's home and who's away. I I haven't even gotten that far as to look at the schedule my what myself, which could be some contingencies. And look, I, I feel like that the NFL we've seen people have their bye week move and games shifted. Maybe if that were the case, they've done this uh, because of COVID-19. If this game would be pushed somewhere, maybe they'd have to work the schedule around. I know they've had – See, it seems like they've built in contingencies for one thing, and maybe they just go into their COVID-19 uh, protocol and try to do it there. But like, I, I do think, though, that we don't know yet. So we're talking – You know, obviously, this is five days mm -hmm. from now. We yeah. don't know where this thing is going yet. Uh, it's worth noting the Chargers' bye week is scheduled for Week Ten, so they don't have a, a common bye week. So that that would be the easy solution would just play it then if that came to it, but that's not an option. So we'll see. What about fans? Any update there on the possibility of fans? I know the Saints have been pushing it, and I would suspect some point this week that you would have an answer to say the next game. Obviously, not Monday. I would assume that would surprise me if they would just all of a sudden turn and say, wow, all, uh, a ton of fans come in. But look, I, I've heard a uh, word that season ticket holders are being charged for tickets this game already. And so that's probably a sign that that could happen. Now, does a storm change that? So, I, you know, I think that that's a different story. But I know they had a test run in the Dome in week three, and I kind of figured that this would be the week where they'd start letting some fans in. But knowing the way this city operates, 
they want to find any excuse not to let fans in. And if they see a storm, <laughs> they might not let fans in. But uh, this would be the week I would assume that they would let some in, barring some sort of weather development. All right. Uh, Larry Holder's with us, theathletic.com slash New Orleans. All right. Let's actually talk football now. We had to, the, But all that was obligatory stuff, <laughs> the ancillary stuff that we had to talk about. How I'll let you put this in your words. How significant was the Saints win on Sunday? Like, I think they certainly needed it. I wasn't going to say the season's over if they go one and three, but you see Tampa playing better. You see Carolina playing better. And I liken it to kind of the gut check game that they played week three last year when Drew goes out, Teddy's got to come in. They're on the road against Seattle. And I think Detroit was a better team than maybe people anticipated, but Here's what I took away from it, that Sean Payton and his play calling offensively, they knew the weakness, they ran the football against Detroit, and they really didn't venture from that. And you know how Sean Payton can get. Sometimes he says, oh, well, I'm tired of this. Let's start throwing it around. They stuck to what worked, and I think that is a sign of self-evaluation on his part to get this thing going. And Drew Brees played his best game of the season defensively still gives me pause but they played well enough at times and I'm assuming some of these injured players are coming back so look I think this game in the grand scheme of things they needed this as their kind of springboard moment uh, because you don't want to wait till this game or after the bye week you needed this to be a springboard moment and this could be it is uh, Traquan Smith a dude now I think he had his best game of his career, and the numbers might not show it, but my goodness, four catches, two were touchdowns, two were on critical third downs. Uh, the two touchdowns come after he gets borderline cheap shotted in the chest across the middle, and then he recovers a fumble by Josh Hill that squirts 5,000 miles away, and if he doesn't recover it, who knows where the, the game turns, and that drive turns into a touchdown, so mm -hmm. my goodness. I think if anyone has taken advantage of this first four games and with the absence of Michael Thomas, I think it's him that he showed that he can kind of do it all. We know he can block, but he showed some toughness, some grit, and some key ability to catch passes. So, yeah, look, I'm curious to see how he fits in once Michael Thomas comes back. How, I was going to ask how the offense does change when Mike Thomas comes back. Have you given that any thought? I think it just reverts back to what it was. I mean, you know, Traquan Smith isn't, hasn't gotten that good, but he's been good enough to add more snaps, this, that, and the other. But I certainly think you probably feel better with three wide receiver sets. Michael Thomas, you can move Emmanuel Sanders inside. Traquan's going to probably play more outside, but he could play a little inside. But you probably feel better mixing and matching those three than you did four weeks ago. Larry Holder for a couple more minutes on Twitter at Larry Holder, theathletic.com slash New Orleans. Uh, Ryan Ramchick left the ball game. It looks like they are going to get James Hurst this week, right off of the uh, the suspension list after his four game suspension. Make sense of this for me and how this all works out on the offensive line if, in fact, um, Ramchick is out for any length of time. Well, Ian, uh, Ethan Greenidge looked like a guy yeah. who'd never played in a game before and it showed. So. I'm wondering how much, how quickly they can get Hurst in. We look concussions. You don't know how the brain works as far as uh, healing, so that he's going to be on the protocol list. Uh, but you don't have Pete, and so it's either going to be Greenwich or Hurst. And not seeing Hurst play a live down with the Saints, I'd probably still feel more comfortable with him playing than Greenwich. And that to me just shows probably going to load up on tight end on that side to try to seal that side off. Uh, you know, Teron Armstead got banged up a little bit in that game, but he should be good. Uh, you know, so instead of focusing in on that, that middle of the offensive line, which I thought played uh, pretty darn well in this past game uh, without a certain guy named Andres Pete, <laughs> I think they just have to load up on that right side and try to protect who's over there. I hear you chuckling, but you we're all chuckling. Shade. Because it, <laughs> shade. I mean, the guy's hurt. You're throwing shade. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't blame you, but I mean, it, it's warranted. But Jade, it's very warranted by the uh, the the research I do on a weekly basis, and you see his numbers jump up, and he is one of the uh, the offenders of most blown blocks in the NFL. Sorry, uh, you don't have to apologize. So, uh, <laughs> is flip it over to the other side of the ball real quick. 
Are the Saints just not a good defensive team? I just, I think they can be. Here's the thing. They've got guys who aren't playing as well that are all pros. Like Cam Jordan isn't as playing as well. Demario Davis and coverage hasn't been the same guy that we saw in the last couple of years. You know, Marshawn Lattimore, when he was healthy, he didn't play that. He hasn't played that great. They've got guys who we've seen play very well. So I think they can still be a good defense. I don't think they're top five. You know, maybe they turn into that. And, but uh, just like the Saints, I feel like every year I write that the defense starts slow, and then I write an article from compares like weeks one through three com- compared to like five through eleven. This Saints defense is better than the one earlier in the season, so I'm not going to discount that. Uh, you know, I think that Cam Jordan can get this thing going. David Onyemata coming back was a sneaky good help for them. Trey Hendrickson has played pretty well uh, in a contract year, but you need your guys veteran proven guys to play better they didn't all of a sudden just stink so i think they just all need to play better and i think they're capable of doing that uh thought uh, early thought on saints chargers well justin herbert's for real uh i'd look out for him i would probably put two guys on keenan allen and that backfield that they have no austin eckler that is a huge loss for the chargers so the saints are pretty fortunate there and oh by the way Look out for Joey Bosa. He's pretty darn good. So if they move him to the right side, you, you better have the right tackle being helped uh, to defend Joey Bosa because he's the real deal. Uh, he, you know, just as good as we, we've seen the last few years. Larry Holder, noted uh, storm coverage guru. Good enough to be with us here. Theathletic.com slash New Orleans on Twitter at Larry Holder. Follow his stuff, read his stuff, follow him on Twitter, all that, uh, that good stuff. We appreciate it, man. Thanks. All right, Matt. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.